Ripples and waves, pools and eddies, trout are rising for the Mayfly. And the sun is shining down on the valley, hope to be fly fish till the day that I die. Some folks like horses, cats or a dog. Me, I like fishing with a rod and a fly. Yes, fishing is favorite pastime of mine. If I couldn't do it, I think I would cry. Life is good when I'm wading in a river. It gets even better when I cast a fly. If I catch a trout, it don't really matter. It's fun just to be here. Give it a try. Spring has thawed out the long bitter winter. The water is clear and the skies are blue. I'm standing in the middle of the Beaver Kill River. Might even catch and release one or two. Stoneflies and caddis in the riffles are plenty. The mayflies are courting on fragrant breeze. And the cedar wax wings come down from the heavens. Wait for their dinner up in the pine trees. Hey, Trump is rising in the far eddy. Make a false cast, then take my aim. If he takes the fly, I feel so much better. And if he does, I'll feel no shame. Water is cold, my waders leak. It's raining now on my favorite stream. I'll bear it all, just a fish with a feather. So when I sleep, I will have a sweet dream. Life is good when I'm wading in a river. It gets even better when I cast a fly. If I catch a trout, it don't really matter. It's fun just to be here and give it a try. Pools and waves, pools and eddies, trout are rising for the dry fly. And the sun is shining down on a valley, hope to be fly fish till the day that I die. Yes, I hope to be fly fish till the day that I die. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to Rod Building Part 2. Last week I kind of quickly went over how to tie the guides on there. And again, you'll, you'll probably want to look at your instructions closer for the rod kit that you have or you buy, okay? So uh, I'm just kind of giving you a quick once over of how, I'm trying to give you an idea how easy it is. Uh, one of the ways I like to ream the cork grips is to use a rat tail file on a cordless drill. It works pretty handy and it's a, a quick way to do it otherwise you're doing it by hand and it takes quite a while and what you want to do is get this so that it will fit over the rod and still be kind of snug because you don't want a, too much play in there okay and then this will be glued down over the other parts of the, the reel seat okay so another thing you need to do is you take your this is a, a wood reel seat and I've built up with masking tape or they, they sell little arbors that go on here and what that does is it fills in the gap between these so that this goes on nice and snug and we're going to glue this on with epoxy so we're going to be mixing up some epoxy this is flux coat uh, this is a two part resin and it's uh, it's a it's a very nice rod finishing stuff. I've used it for a lot of rods and a lot of different things. Um, so 
that's what we'll be mixing up and then we're going to put the the real seat on and the, the last step is to glue this butt plate on at the end here so what I've done also is I've taped these little clips here so they don't get into into the epoxy and they stay right in place on that real seat so another thing I'm gonna do is I I just got this rod on eBay and uh, this this real seat here wasn't securely on the rod at all so what I'm going to be doing is while I have epoxy mixed up I'm going to uh, glue this real seat on okay and it's a pretty basic real seat that just goes on and uh, we got to line it up with the guides so that it's it's straight and then we'll we'll kind of tape it on there and we'll glue it right there in place okay so that will be pretty easy so the first thing I want to do is uh, mix up some uh, epoxy resin and then we're going to uh, start gluing these pieces on here the next step today that we will cover is uh, is I will put some color thread preservator this is kinda like a uh, primer or think of it as a uh, it's kinda like an Elmer's glue almost and what this does is it soaks into the thread and preserves that color because when you put epoxy on there it's either gonna darken it or it could lighten it so what we want to do is keep these a nice green because that's the color thread we used and we're gonna use our little brush here we have these little hobby and glue glue brushes we're going to put some color thread preservative on all these pieces that we wrapped last week and hopefully we didn't break any of those they've been sitting here but anyway that's what we're gonna do today so let's get right started and with the mixing of some epoxy this is flex cloak coat it takes two uh, different uh, parts there's part A and part B and what you do is you mix equal portions of this and stir it together mix it together and it creates a chemical reaction and then it crystallizes the molecules and it becomes hard okay that's a basic resin and this is a special rod wrapping finish and so what we're going to do in this cup is we're going to pour an equal amount in each cup okay so we have that much in one we're going to mix we're going to double that portion okay so we have equal portions in there and then we're going to mix that okay going to stir that and it's going to get kind of cloudy at first and then it's going to get kind of warm you're going to feel it heating up but you want to stir this until it becomes clear okay you're going to stir that real good at least count to 200 or so this takes quite a while Okay, so once your epoxy turns clear and you've mixed it pretty well, it's taken a while, it actually feels warm now. The cup is starting to get hot. Okay, and I can feel it starting to set. Okay, starting to get thick. Okay, this is a good sign. This is a good sign that we have some good epoxy and it's ready to set. Now, what we've done is so I said before we put some masking tape around here to build this up so that this will fit on there nice and tight okay so what you want to do now and this is where we're gonna put the rod we're gonna put some epoxy on here okay on the rod we're gonna paint it pretty good careful to you don't want to spill this on anything we're gonna slide this up over that masking tape nice and easy whoops watch out for the drips 
You always have paper towels and stuff on hand, and I don't. Okay. And we're going to get that in place, okay? Right where we want it. I'm going to build this up now. Do the same width as this wood seat is. Just use masking tape and we'll unroll it. We'll keep going until we get the same. You're, what you're doing is filling in that space underneath there with masking tape. So that when it's on there, it'll be nice and tight. Okay. Oops. Glue's messy. Okay. So that's going to be glued right on there, just like that. Okay. So let's put a little more glue on here. A little more epoxy resin. Okay, just like so. We're going to slide this over that nice and carefully and line it up. Line it up nice. Now, the next step is the cork seat here. And that should go down over the top of that. Just about like so. Okay, I should go on there nice and tight. Careful with the glue, you don't want to get, get all messy. Okay, so that's where the cork handle will go. Okay, so let's back this off and need to put glue on here. It's starting to set up pretty good now, so we got a good mix. See how stiff it's getting? That's what we want. Nice glue. And then we're going to slide this down carefully. Try not to get glue all over the place. Slide that on there. Nice. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is put the little butt piece on here, which goes on the very end. I'm going to put some glue. Try to get glue right inside there. Okay. Okay, and you should put a piece of tape over that to hold the butt piece on, and that's just what we're going to do. Now we had our other project rod here, 
that while I had some cement, I figured I might as well glue this on, okay? And what I need to do is rough this surface up a bit so that it has something to hold on to. This is like cork material. Okay. We want to rough this up because that epoxy that they used to do this wasn't very good epoxy. Okay. So there, we roughed it up a bit, okay? So we got that rough. Now we're gonna paint some of our resin on there. Okay, we got our rod right here. We're gonna put some of our resin on. Okay. And you can see it's really starting to get thick now, which is good. We, I like that. That's a good sign. Okay, so I'm going to put a healthy amount on because we don't want this one to come apart again. Okay, we just bought this on eBay, and uh, this is for my girlfriend Mary. She's going to use this rod. She's also my lovely assistant. When I teach fly tying and fly casting, she's always there to help out. I'm going to put a good bunch on there bunch on the bottom get a lot of resin on there really you, you don't need a lot because all you're doing is adding weight to the rod and one of the things you want to do with a fly rod is make it as light as possible but uh, in this instance this is down on the handle you know I'm not too worried about adding a whole lot of weight to this particular rod I want this to stay on Okay, so I'm carefully going to slide that over. You're going to get some drippage there. Okay. Watch those drips. Oop. Need a paper towel here. I'm going to clean some of that goop off. And we're going to bring this back right down, nice and tight. And we're going to line up the guides so that the real seat is in the proper position. And it looks pretty good right there. Okay, and that's all there is. Now we're going to take our color preservative and paint the thread wrappings that we tied last week. What this does is it maintains the color because when you put epoxy on there, it's going to get dark or it could get lighter depending on, on the thread. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this color preservative. And we're just going to put some on our brush. It looks kind of like Elmer's glue. Okay, and we're just going to paint that on our wrappings. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Real simple. Make sure it gets straight down in there and make sure it's all wet. Okay. Make sure you do your little crossover piece. And it's real simple to do. But this preserves the color of the thread. Okay. It makes it look real nice. And this stuff should soak right in and almost be invisible by the time you're done. So let's do another one. I'm going to come down here and we're going to just paint this right on. Okay? It's kind of like putting primer on almost. Think of it like that. And you can put quite a bit on there because it will just soak in. Okay. Let's do this furrow here. And what this does is it maintains the color of the thread so that when you put epoxy on, um, it doesn't get really super dark or anything. 
okay so if you're doing a real fancy rod with multiple color threads and all kinds of stuff like that and you want to make it look really super beautiful that's fine I'm just showing you a very easy and basic I like to keep things simple okay my fly rods are all very simple no elaborate designs you know I just like to build a rod and then go fishing okay but you may want to do a whole bunch of fancy artwork on it okay so you can use multiple colors, multiple layers of thread, and by putting thread preservative on, you're going to maintain all those wonderful colors that you took all the time to do. Okay? Or basically, it doesn't take very long. You just spin the rod and, and make sure it's wet with your color preservative. Okay, and that's it. So that's that's color preservative, and we're gonna finish up the rest of this rod, and then we're gonna let it dry overnight, and then then we're going to put epoxy resin on the guides, and then we're gonna hook it up to a motor so that it constantly spins. Okay, it'll constantly spin while the epoxy resin dries. You don't need to put it on a motor at this point. This uh, color preservative will just soak in nice and be uh, and just preserve the color of the thread. So we'll be all set, okay? So we've put our color preservative on and we're going to let that dry overnight. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put I'm going to put epoxy resin on these guides. Okay? and then we're going to hook it up to a motor I have a little motor here, a rod wrapping motor and it's going to spin the rod until the epoxy dries that way you don't get any drip marks the other way to do it is to manually do it every 10 minutes or so you have to spin the rod but you don't have to worry about spinning the rod while you have color preservative on Okay. so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the rest of the rod and then uh, we're going to come back and uh, we'll put epoxy resin on. Hey folks, our color preservative has dried overnight and I'm back here at the, the bench and I'm going to start mixing up some more epoxy. Again, this is a, what's called flux coat and it's a two-part resin or epoxy. So we're going to mix equal portions of each mix here, part A and part B, and we're going to mix that until it becomes clear. It's going to cloud, get cloudy, then clear, and you're going to feel it heat up. And then we're going to quickly put epoxy on our wrappings that have been co covered with rod preservative. And then we're going to turn on our little motor here, and we're going to have this rod rotate until the epoxy sets. That way it's nice and smooth. There's no drip marks. If you don't have a motor, what you can do is is just turn your rod every 10 minutes for about two hours until it sets up really good so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and then we're gonna put it on our wrappings
Now we're going to mix that. It should should become cloudy first. And then it'll start becoming clear again. Okay. So once you have it pretty well mixed up, I can feel it getting kind of hot. We're just going to put some of this on the rod. I got the motor running. Well, there we go, folks. We've got epoxy on all our guides and our ferrule wrappings, and we're pretty much all set with for this show. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is invite you to uh, get get with your parents and uh, make sure it's okay with them. But I'd like to get pictures of uh, the, some of the viewers out there with fish that they've caught, or if you've gone fishing with your dad or your mom. Give me your name, your age, and we'll put put your name on on the show. I'd like to show uh, uh, how many kids out there are actually fishing in this area, and it, it, I think it'd be great. Um, I can't exactly tell you when the show would be on, but you're going to have to watch all the shows. But what I'll do is, if I get a bunch of photos from uh, viewers out there, I'll put their names on there, and I'll I'll uh, I'll put them on the show with some music. And I'll have a little montage of uh, viewers out there. Also, if you'd like uh, to get hold of me uh, for this next season, this next summer, I'm, I'm going to be looking to get out in the field with some of the viewers out there. So if you and your dad or you and your mom are going fishing somewhere, I'd like to catch up with you and shoot some video footage of you catching a fish or two. So uh, don't be afraid to keep in touch with me. Ask questions. It's A.V. Kurt at Mac.com and if you have any questions about fly fishing or spin fishing or I don't do much bait fishing but uh, any any questions I can uh, answer for you I'd, I'd be happy to help again I'm here to be a resource for you kids out there who want to be uh, want to get into fishing or want to learn more about it or even want to teach me some about it uh, and our banquet is going to be coming up uh, in, on the, at the end of March, and I, I hope to see you there. If you're one of my viewers, come on up and, uh, and shake my hand. I'd like to, I'd like to meet my viewers as, many, as often as I can. Uh, I've met a few, few folks out there already, and uh, I really enjoy uh, meeting viewers out there. So don't be afraid to keep in touch. And... Uh, Right now, I'm just going to sit here and watch this epoxy dry, and I'll see you next week. Right, right, look, no, 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 right, right to your 10 o'clock. There's, there's fish rising, okay, buddy? About oh, yeah. 10 feet from the boat. 10 o'clock. Oh, right here in front of the boat. Right in front of the boat. <laughs> just flick it right in the front of the boat. Don't worry, the hook comes out. I don't want to hit him. We're catching perch on the fly here on Skinny Atlas Lake. They're rising everywhere. Oh, look at it. Ow. Sorry.